to these two key figures now. So uh, you, you notice that uh, we have uh, 5000 for the bill amount and uh, Sales is three thousand. So here we will see customer. Customer ID. So this is the status now before the uh, loading of second uh, request <coughs> we only have first request now so we will see what what's going to happen when we load the data you can see change log table i have loaded before to the change log table so there are some entries there are 150 entries generally if you take it uh, fresh as uh, i mean one load you will only see these 30 records up to 30 you will see so generally when you load uh, only one record you will see 30 records which are uh, i mean uh, the number of records present in the request we loaded and then uh, <coughs> when we load the another record then we can uh, we can uh, see the changes so for now there are uh, i mean there are some records in the change log table now uh, a you can see it is 150 entries are there in the chain log table and now we are going to load another uh, request now So process completed is this so thirty to thirty. So when you go to the administration of data targets, it is in the DL. So you can see it is not yet activated. There is no ID, request number, and request ID. So you go to the contents and uh, click on the new data table, check the entries, you have 30 entries. Here you can see you have 30 entries here, which we just loaded and which is not activated yet. And you go to the requests again and uh, there is an activate button now before that we will check uh, active data table thirty records and uh, uh, amount bill amount and profit of sales we are tracking three thousand and five thousand let's uh, see the chain log you will see the same one fifty records here which I mean, uh, which is uh, present before. So now, when you activate, Why did we have 30 in the active 
data table and 150 in the, the yeah. other table. What is it? What yeah, generally it has to be 30 because uh, we, <clears throat> I mean, we only have a f one uh, request, but uh, I have uh, loaded uh, before data. So uh, in the chain log table, the number of uh, data is, uh, I mean, uh, increased and uh, generally it has to be 30, just okay. like uh, active data table. And uh, I have loaded the data and uh, it to create the document and then uh, it is, uh, you know, it, it is increased. So I want to show the, I mean, what? I want to show the process which I've created the document and uh, which will be very helpful to understand the real-time scenarios and to give the perfect example, I mean, uh, solution to the, I mean, problems uh, we face. So generally we face such problems like, uh, in uh, material management and uh, in uh, production planning every in every module we have uh, uh, situations where we need the sum summation of the uh, key figures so you have to know where to i mean where to change the summation and you have to know uh, what is the behavior of uh, dso standard dso because this is either we load it to the dso when it is delta, either we load it to the standard DSO or we directly load it to the uh, cube. So, in uh, in order to I mean troubleshoot or keep tracking, uh, we generally load it uh, keep a standard DSO uh, so that we can uh, have the entries uh, for the for such uh, scenarios. We, we will have the entries in uh, chain log table and we know what is happening. So you should, you should know in such uh, situations in uh, when the errors occur, you should know, I mean, when the data mismatches, you should uh, know what is going on and uh, you should uh, give the uh, solution. I mean, uh, uh, what actually happened and this is what has happened. And uh, I mean, you should be able to answer. So I thought this is uh, important to show you. And uh, we in uh, change log table, Generally, it's supposed to be 130, uh, 130 as of uh, actuator table because we only have one uh, request and uh, now we have loaded another request and activated it. Now we will see new data table because we activated the data. We won't find any entries here. You can see there is a zero entries in the new data table. Once the data is activated, the data will be transferred from new table to the active data table and the changes will be logged in the chain log table. Now you, we go to the chain log table here and you can see it was 150 records before the loading of the request. Now you see it is the 210. It means 60 records it's added. We only have a 30 records and uh, the chain log table has added 60 records. So why does it happen? Why, why does it happen? So we'll see now. Here, there is the 30 records and then we'll see to the end here you can see this is the data we have loaded right So here we have loaded, uh, can you see it? Can you guys uh, follow me? Yes, I follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here we have loaded uh, customer one and uh, in chain log table there are two records for the customer one. And uh, what is first record doing? It is just, uh, I mean, uh, uh, deleting the, nullifying the record which is present in the table before with minus 5000 uh, in the this these changes these are taking place in the active data table and the changes are logged in the change log table so what this is hap uh, showing is the what happened in the active data table when we loaded the data the delta data we have loaded the delta data and uh, for delta for that purpose there is already a record present there we, uh, which record is present 
this record for we are tracking for this record c001 for this record we have 5000 for the bill amount and 3000 for the profit so the first thing the system has done is to um, multiply that i mean record with minus and the load it to the i mean uh, table i mean uh, it has multiplied it minus 5000 minus 5000 and minus 3000 it means uh, then uh, a for example we have a uh, another record called uh, record 2 which has a uh, bill amount 6000 and uh, profit of sales 3600 so it will uh, it has added this separately with the new record which we loaded we loaded the record with 1000 and 600 so it has done the summation because uh, the mode is a summation and it has uh, it done the summation for the bill amount it is 6000 and the profit of sales it is uh, 3600 and this summation is uh, because we already had a record here you can see we already had the first record here when uh, from the previous request Mm -hmm. which says 5000 and uh, 3000 this record is uh, nullified by the minus and then the new record which is a summation of uh, two records is loaded so here there is so for that purpose uh, first record is uh, mi with minus multiplied with minus the previous record and then the second record is the recent record which will be